Hey y'all and welcome back to episode two of Jacqueline's writing a memoir plus many other things and she is chronicalizing it because she's going all in in 2024. All right, so traveling. I am in Philadelphia right now, PA. I went to Roots Picnic with a college friend, Greg. Long story short, my friend Greg ended up making friends with someone else who got me like backstage wristbands. And so I was backstage at the Roots Picnic and it was so much fun. But then we did a little bit of sightseeing. We are in city of Philadelphia. If you look right over there, that is City Hall, which is in the middle of Philadelphia. Right next to the bus. Oh, that's where we are, guys. Thursday to Monday were great. You don't have to stay in Pennsylvania longer than like one weekend to really get the experience. But can we talk about Atlanta? Atlanta was amazing. I have so much family in Atlanta. I have so many friends from college in Atlanta. I was all over the city trying to see as many people as I could. It was such a beautiful experience and it felt like home. Like it felt like a place that I could call home. ATL Shorty. And so many mom of my mom supporters were there. I would like walk down the street and someone would point at me and be like, are you a mom of mine? And I would, I'd be like, yes. And then they would just be like, oh, I took care of so-and-so or my aunt has such and such. And like, I would hear all of everyone's personal stories. It was so lovely to experience. And so I'm very happy to have just been embraced by Atlanta. That's what it felt like. I was just embraced. Fellowship updates. So I am in a TV writing fellowship and they had executives from Disney come and talk to us. And what these executives said was, look, we don't want your personal story, baby boo. We want you to go to all of our content, watch all of our content and write whatever story you want to write, but gear it towards the audience that we make content for. And I was like, you know what? That makes sense. Cause you know, maybe if I'm Tyler Perry and I own the Tyler Perry network, I can just write the way Tyler Perry writes and just puts, you know, stuff on his own network. And whoever loves the Tyler Perry network can come and watch Tyler Perry network. I am not at that place, but one day there will be a Jacqueline Joyce Revere network, hallelujah. Um, however, that made me change the pilot that I'm writing. So I'm writing a pilot about a character who stutters uh, I've already written one pilot about a character who stutters. It was titled Stuck. And this pilot got me signed with a manager. It got me meetings everywhere. I've already talked about this in the last video, but I know that this concept works. And so I'm going to write it in a way that I think will work better. And I think that making the main character a teenager is what is going to be my way in. So my main character is now 13 years old. Do you know how I got the confirmation that this is the story that I should be writing and that's the age that the character should be? A woman entered my inbox on my personal Instagram account and was like, my daughter is 13 and she stutters and she's having such a hard time. Can you please talk? with her and I was like you know what the hardest time that I ever had with my speech and like my self concept and all of that was when I was a teenager and no one could help me and so I was like you know what this would be perfect for that so that's what I'm targeting myself towards because hold on yes because Everything has to be very calculated. I was actually talking to a friend of mine and she was watching an interview with Quinta Brunson who created Abbott Elementary. And Quinta spoke on how intentional the show was and why she chose it to make it in a mockumentary style and all of that. And it was just so intentional and that's how she got that show on air. And I'm like, you know what, I'm taking... I'm taking a string from her book. What the, did I just say? A string? I'm taking a, a line, a page, a page. That's what it is. I'm taking a page out of her book. I'm shaking my arms. Arm fat. Arm fat. Right choice, yes, concept. Oh yeah, so I've started doing like concept, world building and character building. I think the fan just came on. Oh well. And if you guys wanna learn something like that, I can make an extra video about that. 
let me know if you want to learn about world building concept creation and character like creation also if you want to be a writer's writer then this is the page for you <laughs> high key so if you want to learn all that stuff leave me a comment saying we want a video on that and i will go into detail for real for real okay so um oh while i was in atlanta i met with a friend her name is Eb and I started following her on Twitter like years ago, maybe like 10 years ago. And she's a filmmaker. And she was ha she has always been a filmmaker in Atlanta. And so while I was in Atlanta, I went and saw her. We hung out. She showed me the new studios that are being built. And she actually has a residency at the new studio. And so like we were talking about all of the new things that are happening in Atlanta and how cool it is and how I could be a bigger fish in a small pond there and I'm like you know what that's a cool idea because you know right now I'm trying to figure out who I am where I want to go what I want to be who I want to be where I want to be you know all that sort of stuff and so I'm really excited just about the possibilities I think networking across is also really important and we don't talk about like how you, it's very hard to network with people who are higher than you because like you can't help them. There's maybe like an assistant job that you can fill in for, for them, but you can't help them on their level. And so networking across, the fact that I've known this woman for 10 years and we finally got to meet and she's like, let me send your work to my manager. You know, like that's what networking across does. And I think it's very important to do that. Oh my God, on my, on my way leaving Atlanta, I missed my flight because the person who was giving me a ride was late and I will never ever forgive them for that because I, I don't miss flights and I had to pay to get an extra flight. That man will never see my face again. Mark my words. Okay, that's all. I can't even describe to you how my trip in Philly has been. All that it has shown me is that people are not okay and that people need support and people need love and that we are all in the same place of not knowing what the hell we're doing. And I feel like I don't know what the hell I'm doing all the time, which is why I think I keep so many projects because I know that if I work on a project every day, I know what I'm doing. I know I can at least get something done if I'm consistent. So I think this work actually keeps me sane. And I think I have a friend who just recently lost his job and he has nothing to ground him and it's really hurting him and so thank you for going on this journey with me because I think it is very much so grounding me and helping me because life is crazy anyway thank you for joining the patreon I appreciate all of you guys Mwah. Mwah. you guys are my favorite Yes. Are you online? You do videos like about your mom? Yes. I'm, 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 I'm like filming right now, but I, I'll, I'll turn it off. <laughs>